Jamel's earlier shot position, who won the first division last season. Plays it across, it's a shot by Abdel Latif and it's in! It is Al Hilal and Durman who take the lead. And a clear head of Salim Makula Salim with the fine save! Good care, good save, Mukwana forces Salim to make the save. Salim's ball, oh my good, I want to save. Lifting the head on goal denied by the Ugandan. Great save there from... I just have to thank the God Almighty. It wasn't easy for the start, you know. And also joining Richards Bay when you're from a lower division team, having the first spot is not easy. My name is Salim Jamal. I'm a goalkeeper from Uganda. I play for Richards Bay FC in South Africa. My journey hasn't been easy. And football, I started all the way young, from school to leagues, and also joining the regional league, Kampala. Then uh, I got a chance to join uh, X Place. From then, I pushed hard. I would just say my journey hasn't been easy. I had uh, some good years in Sudan with El Merik, uh, El Hilal, and I got some challenges. That's when uh, I went to South Africa, leaving a big club to a lower division team. It wasn't easy. Right now, I say everything paid off. I've settled in, in the PSL now. My second year in South Africa it has been good, let me say, it's my best. I'm enjoying the moment. The results are also saying it all. I just say I have to continue doing what I do best. Keep more friendship and also try to build myself in the new environment. You know, we don't grow younger. We goalkeepers, the more we grow, the more we be active. There's a lot of time and a lot of years I am still to be active. It's only the matter of keeping your body and also knowing what to do and knowing what you don't have to do that can make you last longer. So I still have a long way to still build a career, make legacy and try to make history in football. The last 10 years I've been in football, I've achieved some things. Uh, mostly when I started with uh, Express FC, 2011 to 12, we were champions. I was the best goalkeeper of that season and I was the younger best player in that season. Then from then I joined KCCA, 2011 to 12, to 13. We were the champions with KCC. Yeah. Mohamed Traoré stepped up to the task, but Jamal Salim Maguala blocked his effort. Not good enough only for the opponent We had a good, 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 good season. We considered less goals. We lost one game with KCC. Then they saw the next year. We won the league with KCC. That's when I had the chance to go to Sudan after winning El Merik in Cup Champions League 2014. After having good season with KCC, winning 13-14 league and also Mapenduzi Cup, reaching a Cup final. So I joined them in half season. Zone. We merged second, we won the Sudan League and also we won the, the Sekafa Senior Challenge Cup. It was in Rwanda. Yeah, I made the best goalkeeper in that competition. Then the next year, 2015, we won the double with El Merik. Then 2016, we, we won the cup. Yeah, in 2015, we reached the same final, with, uh, same final Champions League with El Merik. Yeah, we dropped out with Tipi Mazembe. We lost 3-0 away from their home after winning 1-2-1 one, one at home. The 2017, we did, we did not have any trophy with El Merik. From then, the challenges were there. 2018, we only won uh, the cup. Then I joined uh, El Hilal. El Hilal, we, uh, we won the league. We won also the cup. Played the uh, Champions League. We played the uh, 
half confederation. We dropped out in, in quarterfinals. Yeah, we set in Tunis. Then from there, I, I went to South Africa after the COVID period, starting a new journey in South Africa, try to have also titles there. So when I joined the professional football here, I used to see Asin Mugabe, you know, he was a top, top goalkeeper, the yeah, pro line, yeah. and also high school I saw Mansoor, he was a good goalkeeper, and then there was Elungati Mantin, you know, those guys were fantastic. When I joined here in the league, in X place, luckily I met Mansoor from there. He was just an amazing guy, you know. I worked hard and I, I took over the, the sport. You know, Uganda, we have a lot of good goalkeepers, you know, but I say it's luck. You have to be lucky enough to go through. You have to work so hard, you know. Uh, I used to watch uh, the late Eric Daira, the high, the mass, he was a fantastic goalkeeper. And I started watching Dennis Sonyango, you know, fall in love with his exposure, the way he stands in goal, you know. Yeah, it made me more get in love with goalkeeping and also try to be like those guys. My take on being the replacement of Dennis Onyango, I've been in the setting of the national team from long away when Dennis was the first like, uh, goalkeeper and the captain. And uh, hopefully I thought it could be my chance when Dennis goes away. But unfortunately, things twisted and I just have to keep my head up to uh, get back on the field, do what I do best, and also try to prove myself that I'm the best for the position. When I was growing up, I used to play goalkeeping and also playing for front. I used to like Rod Van Estroy because he was a very good top striker you get. And also Baba Tov. Because of my height, they used to call me Baba Tov for money. The goalkeeping department, I love Van der Sar. I really loved Van der Sar a lot. That's why I also I was like, yeah. And be a goalkeeper. And also, my uncle being a former KCC Express goalkeeper national team, also, I think the blood encouraged me to stay in goal. Football, we start when we are young, but the active football, I started when I got done with my form six. I think that's when I, I started playing football and professionally in 2011. I don't regret playing football, that is it, because football is a hobby and it turned to a business. So I enjoy the hobby while making the living. So I'm really, really happy and appreciate the talent God that gave me. Yeah, it's a dream for everyone, every kid, every footballer who wants to play football to represent the country. I say I'm lucky to be in that group, to be there, to witness everything, and also being a backup of Dennis, a top, top, top goalkeeper, a legend, you know, it's just amazing, you know, seeing someone who everyone who is talking about, seeing someone who is winning an African award. So I think it was amazing being there, and it's everyone's dream to be there, and, and everyone's dream to take his nation to Afcon. But I'll give credit to myself for believing hard and working so hard that I, I can prove myself and also get back to the standards I have been in. So I think it, it helped me a lot to get back my confidence, prove myself and also helping my team get those points, get those clean sheets. I think we have been doing great and hopefully we keep on doing that. If Salim Jama wasn't a goalkeeper, Salim wanted to be a lawyer. Salim wanted to be a businessman. If he, he wasn't a goalkeeper, I think he would be a businessman. What has helped me achieve my success is trusting God and also being patient a lot and hardworking. If you're not patient a lot, you can't get what you want. But you have to just wait and be ready. God will always bring it at the right time. My final word to my fans all over the country and the world. I love you guys. I like the support you give me. You never give up on me. As in the encouragement when I was in my lowest, you didn't give up on me. I think you're the best I've ever had in my journey. That you're following me and you're keeping supporting me. Yeah, I greet you all and I send love to you all, my fans.